Welcome, 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 members of the Wolf Pack. It's your boy Grey Wolf back with another episode of Dragon's Dogma 2. Now we're gonna do uh, the quest that we said we're gonna do. We're gonna do this when world when wheels collide quest and see what that's about. I also want to Welcome we'll probably... to discerning customer like yourself will doubtless appreciate. No, 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 no praying. I mean, no sleeping. Might as well just put that in a way. Uh, oh, I got some exquisite meat there too. Um, I got two hundred, and she has one hundred. Put some of these away because they're just putting weight on me. We'll put a hundred away because I just keep getting more and more every time I do one of these quests, whatever the case may be. So I have way more than I need. <laughs> do come again. Let's go seal a couple of things. Now, this hardly bears say. I'll seal this and seal these. But don't oh, I should transfer. Guys. Let's transfer those weak stones that she has. We can eat one of these. Uh, to get her health back up. Her health is super low. I, I haven't rested and stuff yet because I just don't know. Like, you know what? I think I got to all heal. Uh, hopefully, she, hopefully she, yeah, she, she eats it. She drinks it. Yeah, she used it. All right. Um, What's I about to do now? Okay, so now we want to go to this quest. How do we get there? We could teleport right here to get us a little closer. I might as well, because I got a bunch of fairy stones. So I'm not really worried about wasting fairy stones. Welcome. Well met. Oh, I'm inside. <laughs> I'm inside. Y'all see that? <laughs> I mean, just threw that jank up, and that jank just came back down like it was. Just, uh, I was like, "Yeah, bro, we don't do that here." All right, now let's just you can see some outside. Let's try it again. I also like the fact that it doesn't actually make you use the fairy stone if that happens. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? All right, uh, all right. Let's run down this path and let's get us. Yeah, I fought a dragon over there. Like I ran down this path, whatever case it be. I think I want up fighting a chimera and want up fighting a dragon. Let's just jump back down here right now. Aren't operating anymore, are they? Oh, just jump right down there. perfectly understandable, albeit rather inconvenient. Very Will inconvenient. Come, might employ one again? Yeah, I ran this way. And then right up in there, there was, a, there was a freaking lesser dragon in there that we want to fight in. And there was a chimera over here that we want to fight in, the gore chimera. Is he still dead? Yeah, this, this is actually the Chimera. Just rotten. All right, let's continue this way. Bones, walking bones. I think the uh, which one call is this way. When I really think about it, oh, map, 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 map. <sighs> over here, I think it is. Yeah, over here, the Wind Waker home, so we can do the dragon upgrades. I 
do that on my off time though. For now, let's just keep trekking. I know it seems like we're getting further away from it, but uh, we can just, just should circle back around to it. I just feel like we're gonna run into something good to fight if we go this way. Well, we fought we fought another Dulahan over here too, so that's the other thing. But Dulahans doesn't don't even count into your like monsters to fight type thing. Which I don't know why there's there's still there's still monsters. I don't know if it's because they're so rare to pop up that they, they don't count them as one of the badges to get or what. Which I, I I wouldn't understand why not because they do it for Medusa and Medusa. You can only fight in that cave, and she only spawns every seven to fourteen days. So, and that's in game days. So it's like you, 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 getting the Medusa one is is super harder to get. Although it is kind of a, a little gimmick with the Medusa one, you can use your magic knight, I mean your magic archer, basically, and hit them with the uh, Sora fight. Um, what is it called? I don't know. I'll, I'll look at it in a second once I finish mining. The uh, uh, sulfuric freaking shot. If you hit with a sulfuric shot, it puts him to sleep. Puts the Medusa to sleep. If Medusa is asleep, if you hit her in the head, no matter where, if you, as long as you hit her in the head, she automatically dies. Automatically, she, her head automatically comes off, and, it, and it's automatically a preserved, uh, uh, like a specially preserved head, like it's, it's a, a unique preserve, whatever it is. Basically, it's, it's the top top of the line preserved head, fine preserve, whatever it's called, head, if you freaking put her to sleep and chop her head off. Because it's right at the beginning. The, the, the preserve, the, the head quality goes down the more damage you do to it. But since you, you literally just chop it right off as soon as it was ready, the damage is not is very minuscule. Minuscule. Alright, let's go through here. Um, You know what, let's go to their uh, shopkeep. Let's see if the shopkeeper over here is selling something different. Let's see if you're selling anything that I don't have already. Yes, I do fancy a gander. Shh. Ah, oh, she sells the same stuff. The Dragon Heart is the upgrade stuff too. So she's selling the same items. Selling the same stuff. No new head pieces or anything either. All the same. What with the volcano? What, what, rings. Look at the rings. Growing more active of late as well. Always a pleasure. I want that ring that I gave my pawn. My pawn has that ring that makes it so she has more. What is it? More stamina and defense and carrying weight. Yep, boosts maximum health, maximum stamina, and the maximum amount of weight that, that the wearer can uh, can carry. If somebody give me that, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. Let me. I don't know if they want me to be down or if it wants me to be up. Like, how does this? How does this want me to, how does this want me to go? Well. It looks like it wants me to be, go up here. You can count on me to fly to Nigga, your I walk past world. you. Why would you still stop me? Why is he flinching? Ah, oh, arisen. I take we would make use of this stone gigantus, Talos, it is called, to intercept the dragon's attacks from the skies. Fortunately, tis yet in a salvageable condition. We believe twas once powered by some form of magic, which gives us hope that its power supply might be restored. Yond
I don't know what's about to happen, but we might as well watch this cutscene. My pawn is up in there. All right, Zeus. Zeusiah. I'm assuming some other dragon or something about to come down. See, that's one of the dragons we killed already. Oh, I got a trophy. I, Talos, help the Gigantus walk again. It does not appear poised to attack us. Let us keep watch for the time being. I guess I probably should back up some more and watch. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Let's go, Zeus, do something. Oh, about to rock him. Cocking that one arm back. Oh, now you about to get blasted. Brain blast. Come on, steal off on him or something. Punch through the smoke. Hey, hey, hey. I knew it was coming. They ain't lost an arm, though. That thing, that's what I fought the first time. That's what I fought the first time, the, that little lizard thing. <laughs> I'm just supposed to watch this whole thing from up here. Excuse me. choked up. Get off me, bro. Maybe I am supposed to go to. Rip it off. Other arm. Come 
because th there's also a trophy to conquer the unmourned world. So, I don't know if that helps with it. Well, what? Excuse me, but I want to knock out all the quests I can that's inside of here and to see. Oh, the hero. Overcome all the trials of the unborn world. That was, uh, that was it right there. I, I didn't even know that was it. Alright. So we got that now. So now we might as well see with this next quest. I think, I think there's only one quest left. Why not push that to the wrong button? I'm going to go to quest. Yep, this is only one left. So let's go to the seafloor shrine. Where is that? Okay, it's over here. And there's a port crystal to it. Too. Oh, and there's another one of these things here. I didn't even notice that one's there. So there was four. Alright, let's teleport towards that. Okay. Yep, we're here. I see you do not relent. Your persistence is most intriguing. What is it that impels you? Alas, would that the world had not come to this. For I am certain that your tale would have been a glorious one. Yet, it was not to be. You need only cast your gaze upward to glimpse the futility. Let's do this first. And this is how you get the action. This, this, you have to do this unmourned world in order to get the true ending, apparently. So we already got the ending and you already seen that, which was kind of like nothing for real. But in order to get to the actual true ending, you have to do this world. What in the ham sandwich? Cool. And it looks like it's about to end right now. What the ham? Not my Zeus. Zeus, change back. She's she's fighting it. She's fighting it. Stab it in the chest again. Time has seen worlds uncountable created, only to be snuffed out by candles by the cold breath of oblivion. Eventually, the great will tired of witnessing this. It's making me creep. I can't get up and run or nothing like that. So. It sought to overturn oblivion by granting unto it a role, a duty, an identity. This like reminds me of Monster Hunter in a way. I mean, it is I a Capcom game too. Of the dragon. By the great will, does the dragon create a cycle, allowing it to forestall the end of this world, time and time again. 
And when I think about it, this game actually is not that long. Yes, Larissa. This world has been safeguarded by the dragon all along. You yourself were chosen to form a part of this cycle. The Arisen is selected by the Great Will to play the role of the dragon's counterpart. is how this world is built. The dragon serves to continue the cycle, and the Arisen exists to oppose it. Come on, this bro. I can't I can't even roll away from there or nothing. The they did a the thing. Everyone in this world had a role to play. For a well-crafted tale has no excess. There must be a reason each character's inclusion. Are you kidding me? Yet, this means that should even one of these characters stray from their assigned role, the tale entire will unravel. And if it does, their world will end. Such is the choice you have made, Marissa. I ain't make nothing, nigga. I'm playing a game. By rejecting your own duty in this world, you have robbed all others of the chance to fulfill the roles they were assigned. Stay behind this skill. I almost ran out there and died. No exception. Born of the nothingness of oblivion, they were granted the role of aiding in the perpetuation of the cycle. Yet, bereft of the dragon, that role has been unwritten. Oh, I'm so dead. Only not. Come on now. Come on, bro. No, I don't want to skip. Oh, master. Such joy I feel. You have given me a gift beyond measure. A fledgling will. <laughs> she looks so funny with the glasses on and that within now. Within my breast. Yet for your sake, I would fain relinquish all I have. All that I am. All that I am. Nose dive it, baby. All that I am. Oblivion fades. This tale's end has been unwritten. My heart, it aches. How would they even expect people to be able to find that, which I'm call it though, that a ending, this ending, the comes. true ending? A new tale is set to unfold. Yet it seems I will not be there to watch.
closure, experience the end of a cycle. Let's skip this because I don't want to get any copyrights. Oh my gosh, it's still going. skip this See, it didn't show me this when I did the other thing. I don't even have an internal wake stone. It just has um, wake stones. You use six wake stones. Use another seven times falling ten. Enemies fail. Look at all the enemies fail. Three hundred and something hours of playing. Level eight to six. Let's do the thing. And that's it, y'all. That was Dragon's Dogma two into the entirety of the true ending. So appreciate y'all tagging along with your boy. So we had to skip over the freaking uh, ending and stuff like that, but we don't want to get slapped with a copyright. I've been slapped with a copyright before on freaking Final Fantasy. So don't want to get that out going again. But um, really appreciate y'all tagging along. Again, for y'all on YouTube, if you can hit your boy with a like and subscribe, that'd be nice. Comment if you feel the need to, and then share with your friends and whatnot so they can enjoy into the Wolf Pack as well. And help us come up. Really do appreciate about this tagging along for this saga. I know the first two videos was kind of messed up. Um, there was some things going on with Twitch, but now we're here. I guess I can go ahead and give my uh, opinion of it. Although I've been giving my opinion the entire time. I think the game is great. So uh, it took 14 years-ish for this one to come out. I think 2014 was the first one or whatever. So 10 years basically uh, for this to come out. Might have been 2011. Either way, it took a long, long time for Dragon's Dogma 2. And although they really use the freaking uh, the line, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because this game is not necessarily a copy and paste of Dragon's Dogma, but it's pretty much a copy and paste of Dragon's Dogma. In the sense of the graphics just improved a little bit from PS3, I think it was graphics, PS3, PS4 graphics to PS5 graphics. But the concept and stuff stayed the same. Like, you climb monsters, you fight monsters. The drakes are not that much different than the drakes in the last one. The lesser dragons are something that's added. And the big dragon is literally the same big dragon from the last game. Uh, they just had a different storyline that's coming on with this and things that's going on with it. And add a little bit more to the world and the world is bigger. But the same thing, still had port crystals. Still had to run around and where you had to go. The vocations change, which they actually have, if I remember, they have less vocations, I feel like, in this game than they had in the other one, which I don't understand why. Because I think the other one had, this only has, what, three, maybe four special vocations? It has the trickster, the magic archer, the uh, magic spearman, and the pathfinder, or wayfinder, whatever it's called. The other one, I know it had magic knight, had the magic archer, had an assassin, had the not the strider but like the longbow dude and uh i can't remember i think it might have had like five or six different vocations uh higher rank vocations so this one also has warrior and stuff and stuff too so it has some other vocations but i i, 
I don't think they should have. It, it reminds me of a Capcom game in a sense of Monster Hunter would take out certain monsters in some of the games. It's like, why? Why? Why would you take out the monsters instead of just adding more monsters? Like, we're all about having more and more monsters, especially as the game improves. Like, Monster Hunter World, when like certain monsters are in the same world and start fighting each other, like that's great. Don't take out, don't take monsters out of the game. Just continue to keep adding monsters to the game. Like Monster Hunter Frontier, Monster Hunter Frontier didn't take any monsters out. It just made another update. More monsters came in. In this game, don't take out uh, vocations. Just keep adding them more too, because one of the vocations, like I mentioned before, that I loved the most was the one, the longbow. And in this, you can't use the bow and your daggers. But in the last game, you can have your daggers and I can use my bow. Because that's what I used to do. I had my daggers and I had the big long bow and I could just smack things up with it. So well, now you, you only can with the Pathfinder or whatever. But either way, the game was good. I gave it a good like 8 out of 10. Definitely would be looking forward to the third one. I think they said something about making this one of their uh, new franchise games. So there probably will be a Dragon's Dogma tree. And they can kind of keep starting it over and keep going different things, which is like they did, because you would thought the first one would have been the only one, because I think you killed a dragon. But here you go, kill a dragon again, and they can just make another dragon dog with tree at any point, because they can just recycle the story in a way so that it's different and add maybe another race or something to it again and just keep going with that. But that's my take on the game. Appreciate y'all taking, uh, sticking along, and uh, I'll catch y'all in the next series.